Hello, Trouties. This is Sierra with Manic Trout. So, there are some new things that we can try with this Facebook Live thing. Bear with me. Feedback is great, and if you like these or not, I really want to try to take advantage of the cool things that Facebook comes out with to make your experience better and to make things kind of cool for you. So, my goal today is to share with you what... And when I say in real life, you're still looking at me through a phone or a computer. But what the spring, summer 2017 collection looks like on people. To begin with, let me state, I'm five foot two and of average build. So things are going to be really long earring wise on me and um, necklace wise. So that is why on the website, I tend to use a mannequin because I am probably not a good indication of what the average height person is like. But this is what we have to work with guys. So here I go. To start off with are the earrings. I'm wearing two different earrings because it's easier than watching me change earrings. So on this side, I'm wearing one of the Endless Memory pieces with the quatrefoil, and this is the Odile with the blue sodalite and the green tree agate, 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 I don't know how you say it. Uh, and then on the other ear, we have the floor, uh, I have to check some of the things, I'm still not fully up on them, the Luck You Got earrings. This is the hot pink one because, I'm coming a little bit. Kind of hard to see this in a photo. The pinks glow so much that it is a little tricky to look at. And bracelet wise, I only have one on. This is the, um, I don't remember what the first name of it is. The, oh, the Liddy Endless Memory Necklace. Uh, I mean, bracelet. <laughs> so I am, like I said, average build, a little thing that I can kind of tell you is that if you ever need something in a shorter or longer length, I make all of the jewelry. I can make it shorter or longer for you. No problem. You just have to ask in the comments, send an email. Either way, it's no problem. All right. Because we all know that I love statement necklaces. Let's get to it. So the first one I'm going to put on is I'm pretty sure everybody's favorite. It is the Tildy and I'm not going to assume, but the Tildy Endless Memory. So this has gone over very well because of this gorgeous fluorite. My favorite part about the fluorite is that this is rainbow fluorite. If you look at the raw gemstone ever, you notice it has a lot of different colors in it. So when these are cut, they use a lot of the different colors, and I love that about it. So this necklace, and I'm going to tell you the specifics, is 19 and a half inches. Again, I can always make it longer or shorter. I also can do, I do extenders, which are like a chain that clasps to the clasp, and then you can make it longer. Um, because, you know, short people. But if there are shorties out there, you now know what it looks like on me. So I have done this in my signature off center, slightly askew design. And I really enjoy this. I love it with a suit, with a maybe a button down. It would look great with a collar, things like that. But this is what the Endless Memory Necklace looks like actually on. So you see it comes all the way up to the back. I have my hair back so you can kind of see. Um, my favorite thing about gemstones is that they're cold when you put them on in the colder months and then they warm up to you and I, I like that. Uh, they are warm in the warmer months too. Um, so this is available in four different colors, four combinations of gemstones, all at manictrout.com. But now you have seen that on a real life person and moving around. Very, it's comfortable to wear, and because of the off-center, it's not that heavy. So now let's move into the critters. We will begin with what the highlight of the critters has been, feedback-wise, the Into the Ether necklace. This one, I got a little, I went a little crazy there. It's not an animal. It is a skull and crossbones, and I keep laughing. Okay, I'm going to preface that I'm pretty bad with the pronouncing of the gemstones, so I apologize in advance. But this is Rodenite. I don't know if that's right. But anyway, it's pink <laughs> and it has black in it and it's really pretty. And I laugh that this is like my ode to the here, I'll it for, ode to the 80s with its kind of it's like a paint splatter pattern with the gems, I mean with the skull and crossbones. And it's you know, it's edgier than maybe some of my designs, which is fun to do and I wanted to be able to provide a little bit of a different look. So, now you can see what that one looks like on. Next, I'm going to go to the dear to me necklace which has a crab, and this has such a fun story. A friend of mine, I've posted something on Instagram, and I, maybe it was about crabs, and she said, you should do one for the blue crabs. And I actually, I started looking at gemstones, and they're out of Maryland, and I found, oh, I'm not even, the, Christ, 
I don't, I'm not even, <laughs> I can't even do it, but it is in, it's, um, like one element over from the turquoise family. Oh, I have to come in and press you because my low battery thing came out. Oops. So it is very similar to turquoise, but it has a lot of the navy blue and green in it. And it's really pretty in person. Um, but this is kind of my nod to the blue crabs, which I love to eat, but Texas, we don't, you know, the seafood is not great in Texas because yeah. So, uh, you can see that closely. I don't know if it will zoom in that well, but see the blue and the green. All right, we are now going to go with the What Once Was. You get that? You get that? I name all of my jewelry after songs, but this one, you know, like dinosaurs, they were once. So this one has a stegosaurus. And don't forget, a kind of cool thing that I do on the website is that when you look at the listing, if you're on your phone, you actually have to hit description and more words open up on the bottom of the listing. But it will tell you kind of what the, if you were wearing the animal totem-wise, what it represents, and it also tells you what, what the gemstones represent, you know, their their powers and things like that. So you can always find out that information at manictrout.com too. So this one has the zebra jasper, and I love the size of it. You can actually see it when it's on a person. See how big the stones are? I, I really like that, and they they feel nice on. They're, they're very flat. Sometimes the round stones move around on you, and this one almost like sticks to you a little bit, which is great because when you're running around, you don't always want your necklace like banging on you and things like that. So now you can see this one, the scale of it. It's hard to see when they're all next to each other on a computer screen, the scale, but I really like the scale. Again, this is a great... Uh, the stone is wild, and they, but it's still, because the animal is close in size, maybe it would come off as subtle. This is my idea of subtle, I guess. <laughs> it's a nice neutral. That's what we'll say about that. It would be fantastic with black and whites, but with a lot of color, too. We're now going to go to the Dream and Time necklace. And this one has a butterfly and the Aqua Terra Jasper, which made me go, oh, Aqua Terra, that's... You know, we have the water, the land. See how that gemstone looks? Jasper. So it makes a lot of sense when you see it. And this guy on very, this one is really subtle, but very um, earth tones kind of, but with a little, great for summer. I really enjoy this one. It would probably go really well with pastels and things like that. Um, longer. Again, you can see on their descriptions what the sizes are. This one is 21 inches. I often make them somewhere between like 19 and 22 inches, five foot two. So if you are, you know, five, eight, it's going to be like this on you. And I, when I wear them for myself, will sometimes take one out. So if you are short, I can always take one out. If you are tall, I can add one. I can even add in inches, anything like that. All you have to do is ask. The awesomeness of handmade jewelry is that I'm making it so I can modify it for you at any time. Um, and, you know, as many of you also know, I can switch out animals and do custom things with the things I have to. Oh, okay. put that aside. <laughs> now we have the slow motion necklace. I know it's a turtle and I did slow motion. I couldn't help it. So this is magnesite. This is another great neutral color with a turtle. You guys love turtles. My sister is a pet one, Rudiger. Very cute. I've seen him in pictures only. So this is the slow motion necklace. Again, about that same length. Um, I, uh, thank you, Anna. I miss you guys. Guys, those of you that right now are watching from the Northeast, I feel for you. I hope that you are no longer buried in snow. But this is kind of the color of snow. So there you go, my nod to snow. But that is a, um, a great one, again, to wear with your blacks and whites. I try to make it. I know a lot of you... I uh, work in offices that maybe uh, there are a bunch of lawyers and things like that that you can't go crazy. So I try to make sure you always have something that you can wear and still show your awesome personality. So that is the slow motion necklace. And the last of the animals is the legend has it. And I really enjoyed the rectangle on this one. It's a cool cut. I like cool cuts of stones. I like them to be unique. So this is a bee, a bumblebee which I was allergic to bees when I was a kid. So I have, you know, it's like you wear them, you have bee power kind of, you know. <laughs> so this has antique jade. They vary in color. They go from kind of a cream to what you'd think of with jade to more of an 
all, an olive color. Cheryl, oh, it's so good to see you. Thank you, Cheryl, thank you, Mary. So these are pretty cool um, because of the variation of color from one to one, which really gives you kind of a one of a kind necklace when you get it. Um, and I try to make sure that there's a good, when I make each one, I try to make sure that you have a good combination of the color. So that you don't, it would never be like the all of the olive one. It would be a mix of it. Uh, this one, I really enjoy how this one feels on too. Um, sometimes the littler ones, like I said, they flop on you. The heavier ones sit. They're more, they're like armor. Yeah, it's like you put them on and you're ready to take on the day. <laughs> but yes. So that is the last of the animal ones. I know the live videos, I try to do them for a little bit so that if you can only jump in for a second, that's fine. And you can always rewatch them to see the beginning because I've been through the collection. The last that I will show you is this. I really, this is important to do video of because it is so long. These are the Luck You Got necklaces. And they are, I think, 46 inches, 46 and a half inches. Okay, so my being 5'2", and I have, like, no chest. This is, there's a bra involved. So it's not sitting on me, but I have to back all the way up here for you to see this. So that gives you an idea. You can put it on over your head. You can absolutely, you could probably wrap it three times if you wanted to. There is a diamond shape in it. There, you can see it kind of flopping around that there you go see the, the awesome diamond and you can double it up which works really well you can also we were talking about this yesterday in one of the posts you can absolutely you know wrap it around your wrist and clasp it it cla works on me five times so I can wrap it five times and then clasp it um, which is really fun because you know sometimes you don't want to wear a necklace all right you guys that was the spring summer collection shown on me. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want to see something on video, just leave a comment. The, this video will be on the Manic Trout Facebook page. It will be watchable at any time. You can always comment on it and you know that I comment back. So, thank you, Lisa. Isn't it fun doubled? I like that because sometimes when your neckline is really high, it's just easier. I, I like big blousey things to have long, but because I'm so little, I, I like to double it. Have a great day, you guys, and thank you for watching.